I know Wendell Carter hit the game-winning basket. But Paulo Bancaro is that guy. Like, he's just a dominant rookie. I knew he was going to be a good player. I just didn't know he was going to be this good, this quick. The guy's like averaging 20 points a night. Yeah, it's 42% from the field, but 28% from three. He's a rookie. I don't care about those stats. It's what he does with the ball, the weight. He's like seven foot. He's like 6'10", 6'11", whatever, but dribbles so well. He's probably one of the best dribbling, if not the best dribbling big man in the league, arguably, like pure big man. And they won tonight, 108, 106 over the god dang Pistons. Franz Wagner had 21 points. Wendell Carter had 14 and 14. And look, Markel Fultz, Markel Fultz has been solid. I think Markel Fultz has solidified himself. Like they, I really love Markel. 14 points, 8 assists. Cole Anthony had 15. But when you're just watching Bancaro just go out there and go to work, baby. He had 11 points tonight, but he hit six rebounds, six assists. Like, he always finds ways to impact the game in other ways than just shooting. It, like, it's never, if that makes sense, like, it's never about him. He just takes advantage of what the defense gives him. Some nights, it's tw most nights, it's 20 points. Some nights, it's like 10 assists. And, like, tonight... He finds ways to impact the game, and I think that's just such an underrated part of his game. And he's just, this guy, he's going to be a, an MVP candidate already. We can tell. This guy's going to be MVP candidate. Like all this, once he gets that three-point shot down, it's over. I don't even know what to tell people. Like, good day. So with Franz Wagner too, like he's got a sidekick already. That's the best part about all this. The team is set. And with every game we play, we're just going to be getting better. And that's why I really think next year, team to watch out for might be the Orlando Magic, if I had to say so myself. Um, look, this is definitely... Uh, like, look, when you look at a guy like... Paulo. I think Paulo's just showing first off, there is no rookie of the year race. It's just the Paulo Van Carroll race, unless he were to get hurt. But hmm. He he already seems like a leader. And for me, I think like Van Caro, you just have a guy who has a size. And he just, just doesn't use his size to score. He's a willing and skilled passer. He's the guy. And he's one of 21 players basically averaging 20.6 and 3 assists per game. And if he does this for the whole season, he would be the only 13th player in NBA history to do this. But Van Caro, everything, he's just a winning player. You're, you look at the Orlando Magic and you see a team that plays hard, has pulled off a number of upsets this year. And the core of their surprising success is Bancaro and Franz Wagner. And the enhanced stats aren't, you know, kind to Bancaro, but he's a helocentric guy. He's the guy. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts if you guys agree with me or not. Well, that's basically going to be it. Peace out.